Shalom. I'd like to say our praises due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a quick lesson flowing in the spirit in regards to uh, Esau, you know, like the man of sin, the son of perdition, you know. Uh, that uh you know from you know like from you know like from the beginning uh he was set up to be you know like contrary you know to the righteous all right you know going all the way to uh the serpent you know cain then esau you know and uh you know he he's always opposed to the heavenly father right and uh you know and you know he's the oddball right and uh you know that's why i'm gonna get this scripture then i'm gonna um you know let's go to, uh genesis 4 and 1. Uh, adam knew eve his wife and she conceived and bare Cain and said I have gotten a man um, I have gotten a man from the Lord and uh, she again and she again bear his brother Abel all right so just how uh, when you read about Isaac you know and uh, you know Isaac Rebecca and then Rebecca was, you know, like she conceived and then, uh, you know, there was twins in her womb, you know, um, you know, it was basically the same concept, you know, and, uh, you know, um, Esau came out first, just how, uh, you know, um, you know, basically, uh, you know Adam you know he was with his wife you know Eve and uh, Cain came out first you know but Abel you know Cain it means also a uh, weapon you know because uh, we know that Esau is the first murderer or Cain's the first murderer you know and bear Cain and said I have gotten a man from the Lord and she again bare his brother Abel and Abel was a keeper of the sheep but Cain was a tiller of the ground and uh, in the process of time it came to pass that that Cain brought brought out that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and offered unto the Lord and Abel said also brought and Abel you know Abel also I mean transitory when you go into that and Abel he uh he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering right because you know the you know like the adamites you know like they were keeping the torah but it was or it was uh it was oracly you know uh, you know you know uh, on like passing things down you know like through your um like through your generation you know like through the like um through that like basically um like the oralists or or like the oralists like being oral you know with the you know like with the law you know and um you know so the lord he had like he had respect unto abel right because he he you know because adam he, like he already gave like the you know like the the law but was orally and abel he also brought of the firstling of his flock and and of the fat thereof and the lord had respect unto abel and his offering but unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect and Ab and Cain was very rough and his countenance fell her right? so yeah Cain 
he didn't uh, respect, you know, like the Lord's offering, man. All right, because he knew that he was supposed to, he, he, like he knew he was supposed to follow like the law orally. All right, but you know, Cain he he went off. All right, you know, but Abel, you know, he like he followed the order, cause it was orally. And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? Why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou dost not well, sin life at the door, right? So, you know, like the Adamite Abel, you know, Adam, you know, like they were keeping the law orally, right? And they were keeping the law. And if thou dost not well, sin life at the door, right? So if you don't follow the law, you know, if he, if he didn't follow the law orally, and he was doing things his another way, you know that sin, right? Because um, sin is the transgression of the law, so, right? So now, now that we have the Torah, you know, Genesis, um, Exodus, Numbers, uh, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, you know. You know what you know what Moses set up you know like you know like we have the law you know but the law is not gonna save us right it's our faith is gonna save us and if thou and if and unto thee shall uh, shall be his desire and it's like it on um, verse 6 and the Lord said unto Cain why art thou wrath verse 5 again sorry but unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect and Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell and the Lord said unto Cain why art thou wroth and why is thy countenance fallen if thou dost well shalt thou not be accepted so yeah if you follow the law right orally you know back then and if thou dost not well sin life at the door and if thou and unto thee shall be his desire and, and thou shalt rule over and thou shalt rule over him right all right because cain was born first but you know but the lord he always like he always does it you know the lord this is the most i show right and uh ultimately abel you know the lord chose abel first right and um Basically, uh, you know, after when Cain slew Abel, you know, he came back, you know, as um, as Seth, right? We're gonna get that, and um, and he said. What hast thou done? It said, The voice of thy brother's blood. It's like I re, uh, read verse uh, 8. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Alright, so that's uh, Cain, man, you know. He's always, you know, contrary to the, you know, like to the most side to the order, right? Like that's why he's the, he's known as the first murderer, man. And that's why the Lord cursed him again, right? Just so, um, you know, like the serpent was cursed. When you go to Genesis uh, 3, you know, you know, the Lord cursed uh, Cain, you know. And uh, said unto Cain, Where is th is Abel thy brother? And he said, If I know not, am I am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me, you know, um, like from the ground, right? So yeah, because you know, because Abel was he was murdered. All right and uh he went you know he like he went into the bosom of of the father and now art thou cursed you know from the earth which has opened her mouth 
to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee, unto thee her. It said, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Right? And that's what it is now. All right, you could see, uh, you know, what they're doing with the whole uh, agriculture with food, you know, meat, you know, cloned meat, you know, like genetically modified uh, meat, you know, uh, like all the genetically modified organisms, you know, um, you know, uh, for the damn fluoride in the water, you know, everything. You know, Esau's behind everything. Esau's just a, a, you know, he's just a destroyer of the earth, man. The earth's given to the hand of the wicked. You know, a fugitive. You know, he, you know, he, he, Esau's a fugitive, man. Goes all over the earth, you know, and wreaks havoc, destroys people's resources, lands, culture, and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me, thou hast driven me, you know, like from the face of the earth, right? So Esau was the oddball. Right? The Lord cursed him with, you know, he, he cursed him with leprosy. You know, and the Lord cursed, you know, the Cain, you know, like with leprosy, man. You know, so, um, you know, so um, like that's why like they don't have no melanin, you know, they're, uh, you know, they're uh, susceptible to a skin cancer, all kinds of different um, like ailments, you know, in their flesh. They can't withstand on the sun, you know, too long, man. From the face of the earth shall I hide, shall be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that every one that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto, unto him, Therefore, whosoever slave Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. You know, like that's why, uh, you know, if you go after Esau, you know, like they're gonna, you know, like punish our, you know, like they're gonna punish, especially Jake. You know, if you go against, um, you know, the Edomites, you know, like they're gonna, you know, like punish our people, uh, you know, like sevenfold, you know, by, uh, you know, harsh, you know, sentences and all kinds of things, man. All right. So the Lord, uh, you know, like the Lord is like protecting these Edomites too, you know, all right, because he saw the oddball. But uh, soon, you know, ultimately, like you're gonna, uh, like you're gonna be uh, like destroyed, man. Alright, because uh, we're gonna get it. Then I'm gonna make this video. This is the shortest chapter in the ver in the in the uh, the scriptures, man. Obadiah, man. But it's very powerful, man. Mm. Obadiah. Uh, the whole chapter is good, but you know, Obadiah, one verse ten. For the violence against thy brother Jacob Shame shall cover thee And thou shalt be cut off forever You know for you know, you know like what they did During the Babylonian captivity You know like we were led into uh, You know into captivity You know but the Edomites was behind it like, You know like the Idumenites You know that like was behind it You know and uh, You know they uh you know like they took and spoiled our our our, our treasure man you know like you know like with the babylonians as well and uh, and, and like the edomites man in the day that in that day in that day thou stood this on the other side in the day that the str strangers 
carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gate and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou hast one of them. Yeah, so that's why they're gonna have a lot of things like to pay for, man. Behold, thou shalt not have looked on the day of the brother in the day that his that he became a stranger, neither shalt thou hast rejoiced over the children of Jerusalem of Judah are you so called Negro Latino Native Americans you know you know and uh, you know that you know because basically you know like we're in the you know like we're in the Babylonian captivity you know so um, you know like those are the southern tribes the day of destruction neither shalt thou has spoken proudly against him in, in the day of distress thou shouldest not have enter into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity yea thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity or have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity yeah so they took our substance man you know also that same thing what happened you know like during uh you know like during on uh, um, like the critical Roman Empire, you know, where um, Alexander, you know, he was the first, you know, to, uh, you know, establish himself as a, uh, you know, very, uh, when you go to Maccabees, you know, and then um, you get that. Maccabees. Uh, first Maccabees one and one, and it happened after that Alexander son of Philip, the Macedonian who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persian and the Medes, that he reigned in his stead the first over Greece. Right. So when you read about the Persian captivity and you know that we're under and they they basically fell you read about daniel you know it goes into that and uh made many wars and won many strongholds and slew many kings of the earth and went through all the ends of the earth and took spoils out of many nations in so much that the earth was quiet before him wherefore upon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up all right so that was alexander right the first you know and uh like daniel it goes into that too all right the, like the leper and he uh you know because he had uh like a leopard you know hat you know when he was uh you know rule you know over uh over uh greece and he, he made many wars you know throughout the um you know like the elamites or the you know in that in those region you know and gathered mighty strongholds and when you watch that movie uh alexander you know very good movie you know but it's very graphic man because it shows you what these people were uh into man you know damn the damn boogery and he gathered a mighty stronghold and ruled over countries and nation and kings who became tributaries unto him and after these things he he fell sick and prevailed that he should die right so he was uh he died right because you know he, because he is uh he was uh, undercover or he was even on he was open you know with his uh he was an open um you know what you know uh mo wherefore he called his strength such as well such were honorable and had and had uh bind broad slack and had been brought up with him from his youth and part of his kingdom among them while he was yet alive and so Alexander reigned 12 years and then died and his servant bear rule, rule everyone in his place after this his death that he 
after his death they all put crowns upon themselves all right so their kingdom was split all right so you had uh like the Lucius, all right which has been uh basically syria you know basically uh ultimately we were uh, you know in captivity under them the Seleucus and uh the ptolemy dynasty let let the sinius uh dynasty and the cassander dynasty so all throughout asia minor in those regions after they came out of their it's like a so uh after the, his death they all put crowns upon themselves so did their sons after them many years and evils were multiplying the earth and that's why this we're living under these same people the damn greco-romans all over again you know and uh you know that we, we, we see what they're doing right now you know with um you know uh, 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 like the artificial wombs you know like what they're uh you know like what they're doing all right and i, I like they've been doing this whole experiment from you know like world war Two with uh you know the artificial wombs the 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 the, the clones you know animals and people you know so uh he's the damn uh he's a uh, witch and a wicked man right? the madman man you know and uh you know even though uh you know isa and his woman you know like they want to get back their melanin you know like end of the day like uh after that thousand years of uh of uh hardcore bondage because you're gonna have to rebuild all right and basically you're gonna have to re repair you know back you know like what you have done unto the children of israel man you know through uh hardcore slavery and, and bondage all right and after that thousand years you're gonna be out of here man you know they're they're men out you know they're you know you know because the the, the way to destroy our seed is is through the men right so you know so let's uh see what's gonna gonna play this this is for educational purposes so with the i'm gonna say i'll praise do unto you how about shimmy Shai? this is a very powerful uh video this is off of the TikTok. um have uh gms wisdom and meekness that's my backup and uh gms yasha Allah banyamin then i have in uh, i have a rumble account 777 um call al all right um so with that let's say i'll and uh this is for educational purposes so with that let's say shalom Black guys or white guys? Black guys. Okay, can you uh, elaborate as to why specifically black guys? Yes, black guys are melanated and I want my children to survive. <laughs> and I know that the only way for them to survive in the future is for them to have melanin in their skin. So that's the way for me to, you know, make my legacy continue. Okay, that's, I like that answer. That's actually a really unique answer. <laughs> According to the United States Census Bureau, by the year 2042, Caucasian people in America will be the minority by 2042. You're dealing with people whose bodies cannot sustain life. Right now, more white women's wombs are not able to hold a baby up to nine and a half months and they're having miscarriages. So they're having more deaths than births, according to the United States Census Bureau. When you're dealing with a group of people who look at their livelihood and it is dwindling, there are actions that need to be taken. So not only do we have the black woman being cursed to have hysterectomies, but we have the white woman being cursed to have more children. You have the abortion clinics in 78% of the inner city neighborhoods while you have the majority of fertility clinics in the rich neighborhoods. You have body parts. Women, black women, are being encouraged to get hysterectomies, but those hysterectomies are not being petitioned to be received by trans men. Ooh. You have kidneys, you have lungs, hearts, etc. that are on the underground white market because black people don't control it. White and Jewish people primarily do control it, so I can't call it the black market. It's the white market. Okay, number one. Number two, hearts are worth a little over 100000 Kidneys are worth over 20000 50000 depending on where, where it is. And those black body parts, hence why 75000 plus black men are missing. A lot of these children, 2500 every year are missing. It sounds like Get Out. It is Get Out. That movie was based on true stories happening all over the place. In America, right now, it is a $30 billion 
sex trafficking commercialized industry, meaning the money made from sex trafficking of children and women is now contributing to America's economic base. It is not a secret anymore. And organ trafficking. And organ trafficking, because people are dying. How does it, how, did, how did David Rockefeller get six, or I believe seven heart transplants in less than 20 years? When you go on the list for a heart donor, you have to go back to the bottom after you get a heart. This man, who happens to be a banker, and he's gone now, but he got over five hearts. How do you do that unless you have the money to do it? And not only that, but what hearts was he getting? Yeah, a black man's heart. Mm. Like, Why don't you put organ donor on your driver's license? <laughs> because that makes you a target. Yeah. This is a real world we're dealing with. They found a, a bunker in Phoenix, Arizona a couple months ago with refrigerators full of hearts, kidneys, a few uh, heads, body parts in refrigerators. This is a very real thing. And it wasn't just an organ where I know this it was a bunker, unmarked. People didn't know about it until the police raided it and they found all these body parts. It's a very real 